Um, my name is Angela Adams, and I am the director of Arlington Public Art. Um, so working with the NEA, the uh, Arlington found Nancy Holt. I would say a story that started again with Arlington having an idea for wanting to create a work of public art to mark this development potential in Roslyn and finding an artist who at that moment in her career had just completed really the major work that we know her for, Sun Tunnels in the uh, Western desert of Utah. And it was a moment when the National Endowment for the Arts was very involved in matching artists with communities uh, for creating this Art in Public Places program that they were, it was fairly new to them as a funding category. And so they were fairly hands-on. So it was really Burke Kubley at the National Endowment for the Arts who helped to match Nancy who was just at that right moment in her career for taking on a project like Dark Star Park. Um, Dark Star Park is Nancy's most urban and accessible extant work. Um, and we, uh, Arlington Public Arts stewards the park. So we are in a role of working no longer with Nancy, but the Holt Smithson Foundation, which Nancy helped to create. Um, to make sure that the park continues in a fashion that Nancy would uh, approve of. And I worked with Nancy for five years from 1997 to 2002. So Nancy, um, the, the uniqueness of the park really was that our community wanted a, a work of public art that would be distinctive and I think define the community as sophisticated. Nancy was ambitious in the sense that she was not interested in creating a sculpture. I think she saw herself as an artist who was interested in creating an opportunity for people to see themselves in a particular location and to see that location in a unique way. So when Nancy was offered the opportunity to create Dark Star Park and given the funding, she saw that there was a line item for a park designer and she asked if she could be the park designer in addition to creating the sculpture. So this allowed her the opportunity to shape that urban location that we now know as Dark Star Park. And Nancy's original work was, uh, I should say she you was know, trained as a biologist she came to art um, as a filmmaker and as a photographer. So a lot of her early experiments as an as a installation artist was uh, with perception. And in order to really see the park, you have to be in the park and you have to walk around the park and experience the different views that Nancy would have you experience 